Would you recommend the military to young men today? I'm glad you asked that question because you and Rollo have helped me so, so much. I mean, the reason I'm on this program is to say thank you to you and Rollo. Thank you. For sure. Because what happened to me was, you know, I was, I don't think I was alpha, but I was a Marine pilot. I was pretty much an asshole. And then I got married to a great woman, still married to her, but I turned mm-hmm. into a big fat beta. Mm-hmm. And I was very happily married man. I never cheated on my wife and all that. And I realized that was a big mistake. Not not cheating. I mean, you know, I, I don't cheat even on my taxes. I pay no taxes, but I don't cheat. But anyway, uh, I became a big fat beta. Yeah. And so when my wife left me, as you guys talk about, what, 80% are initiated by the woman? Correct. And it was like taking a shotgun blast right in the chest because I love her so much. And then, they, so my friend George Gammon gave me Rollo's book. And then he told me to watch you on, because he drives a McLaren like you do. Mm-hmm. And so I'm watching you guys. So you guys are on to it. I mean, yeah. you guys have a message that's worth talking about. Because as you guys say, testosterone levels are going down. And as a Marine, you know, I'm not LBGT. I'm a man. I like women. If you want, you want to have sex with a man, that's your private property. It's not mine. I don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. But what you guys talk about is essential. And, you know, I, so I, I asked to come on your program just to validate what you're saying. We have too many guys who aren't men anymore. There's no money. They have no money, no sex, no power. Yeah. No money, no sex, no power. That's yeah. Tragedy. Money sucks power. Yeah. Let, let's, let's, um, Let's cover that too, but I want to go back to the uh, question about would you recommend the military to, to men today? Because I mean, the military today is a lot different than the military yeah. that you joined back in the day. Yeah, they're now, they, they now have you know Black Lives Matter training and all that stuff inside of it. There's a uh, Victor D- Davis Hanson, you know, he did a thing about Patton. It's, it's, I think it's for Hillsdale College. Mm-hmm. And people should study Patton because that guy was a wild man. And but he got pounded because Eisenhower and those guys were kind of my, my, one of my best friends, is a three-star general Marine, you know, and he, and he fought does a storm. He fought in Vietnam and did all this. He says, but too many generals today are bunker bunnies. You know, they don't go on the front line and Patton was a front line guy. Mm. And so the difference in mindset. So against Victor Davis Hanson, he talks about George Patton. And I think every man should listen to Patton. What, what Patton was like. Is there a, um, is there a piece of material that you'd recommend most? Is there a book? Is there a, a documentary or anything or? No, it's, it's Victor Davis Hanson on YouTube. He okay. just worked at Hillsdale college. Okay. But he did this whole, um, report on Patton and Patton was kind of my hero too, because like I said, he, he was gonna, he wanted to take on Russia and Eisenhower and the boys that wanted to take him, take Russia, you know, Patton, all they remember Patton for was slapping those, people in the hospital, which he should have done. But he was a rich guy. He's kind of like a Trump, if you're in the same, same kind of energy. So it's not, not whether you're rich or poor, it's your spirit you come out with. So Patton was kind of my hero. My mm-hmm. aunt, my aunt uh, was the prima ballerina of Paris, and she fought for the French underground. So when I was at school in New York at King's Point, she used to talk to me about Patton also. The guy was a real stud, mm-hmm. but but the but the political generals like Eisenhower and those guys, you know, they get the glory, but the guys like Patton are on the front line, and I'd rather be on the front line. Mm-hmm. So that's the long answer to the military. I am glad I went. I am really really glad, but not everybody should go. Yeah, I'm I'm not a. I mean, uh, I have guys that that have been in the mit- military that are that are asking questions about. You know, do you think it's a good place to spend some time? And I think it, I mean, I see the value in the discipline and I see the value in the camaraderie and I see the value in, um, you know, the grit that I suppose that every guy should right. still be learning there. But um, there's just a lot, like I've got a guy that I was coaching a couple of years ago that was a naval officer and, and he was telling me all these stories of all the political nonsense that he was dealing with on the boat and female officers and the drama and it's just like all the stuff back and forth and it's like you know he's on a trajectory to go start his own business and the military doesn't offer him anything that would be useful to his future so 
I mean, we put a plan together to basically, you know, put an exit strategy out because I mean, when the writing's on the wall and you see it, then it's just like, okay, you know, enough's enough. We have to accept this and surrender that this is the environment that we're in today. We're not going to change it by protesting or complaining to a, a, a CEO, right? Um, well, let me add this. You saw what happened in Afghanistan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, that, that was they just left. That was absolute treason. That was horrible. And the guy they put in jail is that Marine Lieutenant Colonel who criticized the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Yeah. They should put the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Biden in jail for what happened in Afghanistan. That was yeah. treason. Yeah. But they put this Marine Lieutenant Colonel in jail. What is wrong with this country? Yeah, that was, um, I don't know how many years that war was, but it's like they basically spent all that time and money in Afghanistan and all these men lost their lives to basically replace the Taliban with the Taliban. That's that's what they ended up with. Um, but what are you going to do? Um, yeah, the military is a interesting conversation these days, especially, you know, with the topics around uh, Russia and China and what's going on between, you know, China and Taiwan right now and, uh, you know, how that's going to affect things here.